Welcome back to the channel, you big bass lovers. It's Demont coming back at you again. Sorry I'm sweaty. I've been outside doing a lot of yard work. Um, blowing leaves, cutting down trees, and lots of fun stuff. FedEx guy came and brought me off a package from Japan Lure Shop. And uh, I was going to just come open the box up, and I forgot about I, had, uh, I forgot about I ordered these in my hand that I got right now. Um, I ordered my... I finally got my final SLX uh, 70 DC XT. My free gift was a, a wild hunch. And I don't know what color it is, but it's a Modo crank. Um, you know, it's got to be pretty good because it's coming from Evergreen. Um, but I also got a couple of these. These are called blade jigs. These are by OSP. They're five eighths of an ounce. And uh, I started looking at it, and I was like, well, this is a bladed jig. I don't think I worry about covering it, like showing it to nobody. Then I started looking, and I was like, man, this thing's different than any little bladed jig I've ever looked at. For starters, I want you to look at how they did the line tie. They changed it so much. Let me see if I can get it up here where you can see it better. They changed it. It's like a little, a little metal ring. It's a metal ring inside here. It's like a, it's almost like a, a double welded eye double welded eye inside there but look at the body on the thing these are two little appendages coming out the side here you see where they go in here and then it's got like some little, i thought these were like the skirt was messed up i said no it was tied like that because this is a tied skirt um and it's got a few little long appendages that's come out the back and see the clear blade um it looks like um the standard kind of blade they make crank like crank bill blades out of um, you kind of see how it goes through there. I guess I undo it a second ago. Let me get it back together right. There we go. Um, it's got, let me show you this on the back. It's got two little, the keepers. You can kind of see those. They're just very similar to the keepers you get on like the uh, Berkeley head. It doesn't have a huge wide gap hook like the jackhammer does. And it doesn't have as big a hook as the Evo does. But the trailers it gives you, it has like two trailers in the pack. Are like little, they kind of remind me uh, very much of like the old like uh, spinnerbait trailers you just get back in the day. But they're like little crawls. Let me get one out and show it to you. I just realized I'm dirty all over the place. My hands all dirty. Uh, I want to do this real quick before I forgot about it. I bet that would make an awesome Ned bait too. I wonder if they sell these by a pack. Damn, look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Tell me that on a Ned bait would not get you some bites. It's not a last tech. This is regular plastic. It's got the shrimp smell to it. But. And I like how flat. It's kind of going back to like a nice Arky style head. I bet that thing would skip like a bullet. And I am really interested in trying this little guy out. Um, on my next video, I'm going to do a video about myself for chatterbaits because somebody asked me about it. I have, I have two main chatterbait rods. I actually have three or four. depends on just how the bite's going because if it's a nice chatterbait bite and I'm fishing different things, sometimes there's nothing, there's no other bite like a chatterbait bite. Um, that's just how I feel about it. I've got, I've got jackhammer stealth blades, which this is kind of somewhat mimicking but i don't know i kind of like it better than i guess since z-man doesn't have a, the patent in japan they can do it like this but it's totally different the, the blade it's not directly attached to the blade like i showed you a while ago it's got like a little metal band inside it let me move this clip up by the way so you can see it better try to it's got a, a double band here and here like a double loop that's like welded together and then looks like it's fused. Yeah, there's 
two little metal anchors on both sides of it and then glued or fused inside this little plastic piece. Or it's probably poured around this little plastic piece. And those are just little points that they kind of give it to hold on to. But man, this little guy looks really good. I got it green pumpkin, chartreuse blue, white and chartreuse and white. Um, I'll link these down below. Um, but you're getting to the time where it's kind of a bluegill bite. Uh, the bass are in my area, they're starting to get done. I haven't really had a chance to really do much fishing uh, since all the mess happened and then everything else, tearing my arm up and everything. Uh, but I'm planning on getting out. My wife's off all this week, so when she goes back to work, i will start getting a lot more stuff done. Um, and I got talked to two more holes in the head. My wife kind of, I'll show you another video. I have to, just have to show you. Uh, I'm hard headed. Um, anyway, um, let's see if any of you guys can guess what that means. I know there's probably one person out there that knows exactly what that means. Or probably two people that watch my videos constantly. Um, but anyway, this little guy is, they're pretty damn flat, pretty damn nice. Then of course you guys know how much I love these reels. The SLX DCXT. I think it's worth the extra 20 bucks to go from the regular. Uh, you have to get them from Japan. You can't get the regular uh, 23 DC. They don't, they don't sell them here yet. The 70, 23 DC. But this reel here, the XT, I mean, the reason why I tell you guys to get these from Japan is because the ones you buy here in the United States, they don't have the MGL3 spool. They don't have, you can't even get the XT here at all. And you can't get the 23 DC here. And I don't know why Shimano's doing that. And I think they came out with the, um, the new Metanium DC. It very much seems like it's based on this real platform. I, I haven't had, it, had my hands yet. And I've looked at it, but it seems like it's based on this real platform. But $500. No. These reels right here, and you get a free bait, they're under $200. I mean, I can't see how you go wrong with this. Um, this is the 8 to 1. Um, yeah, but you know how I feel about that. And I'm really looking forward to these. I will link these down below. Uh, like I said, I, I, even, I forgot I forgot all about they had those on sale. And I said, okay, I'm going to put a couple in the cart just to see what they're like. I think when they had them on sale, they had them on sale for, I think it was, um, I think it was 6 or $7. Maybe it was a little cheaper than that. I can't remember. Um, but... It looked really cool. I thought I'd take a chance on it. Let me put this back on because I can't see what I'm looking at. Uh, when you get old, you're looking close. I can see shit far away. But I got something in front of my face? No. It's ridiculous. Like, I, like the box, I can slide the box here. I'm at a little bit more than arm's length. I can read every little small letter and number on there. But once it starts getting closer and closer, mm-mm. Hey, old eyes, man. It's a... I don't know if I ever told you guys a story about that. When I was like 45, I told my wife, I said, I got to go to the eye doctor. She goes, why is that? I said, I'm holding my phone here. I can't see it. I can bring it out here and I can see it fine, but I bring it here. I can't see it. She goes, you don't need to go to the eye doctor. And I said, what the hell do you mean? I can't see it. She puts her hand on my shoulder and says, there's not a damn thing wrong with you. You're just old. You need reading glasses. I was like, uh -huh. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'll link this down below. I appreciate all the people watching my videos. Um, I'm still waiting on him to email me about the um, where he won that reel. Um, he said he was going to email me, but I've never got the email. I've tried to e I've tried to message him twice. Um, hopefully, he goes ahead and gives me a message back so I can get taken care of. Um, all right, guys, till next time, tight lines. Y'all stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.